high visibility, low contact. A number of local law enforcement agencies are making some adjustments when it comes to policing during the pandemic. Our Tony Atkins talked with local law enforcement leaders about the changes they are making. In response to COVID-19, people throughout Wisconsin are now working from home. But for law enforcement, that's just not possible. Bayside Police Chief Doug Larson says his officers remain visible on patrols to deter crime. What that means to us in Bayside is we, we will be seen. We are out there. We're at full strength, full deployment. However, they're now handling non-emergency calls considered low priority, either online or over the phone. Policing is policing as normal with the exception uh, of how we make um, non-critical, less than urgent contact. Several other departments also turning to taking calls or even email for reporting most types of thefts and disputes. I asked local agencies if they would consider doing the same. While with Tulsa police say they're still committed to making arrests of people breaking the law, and Racine police say they'll still respond to any situation involving personal safety. Dispatchers in West Dallas are asking screening questions to callers before sending officers to meet with citizens. Nationally, several agencies, including Denver and Fort Worth police, say they're no longer making arrests for low-level crimes. We've already told the other chiefs of police and the other departments here don't bring people in unless you have to. In Kenosha, the jail is no longer housing immigration and customs enforcement detainees in response to the pandemic. And I did hear from Milwaukee police about their approach to dealing with minor offenses. They say they've made some tweaks, but they did not elaborate. For now, I'm reporting in Kenosha, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News.